Hi you guys, Lindsay here. Welcome back to my channel, Inside the Hem. So I have a lot of exciting plans for this month. I mentioned in my makes video that I am taking a socation slash going on a very intimate sewing retreat. And by intimate, I mean there are three of us. So, <laughs> so basically, um, two of my girlfriends that live here in Charleston, one of them being Amber that you've seen on the channel before. She's the one that goes to New York with me every year. Um, she's done some videos way back in the beginning. Um, she's going. And then our friend Sarah, who we actually, we all met and all started sewing at the same time. Sarah took a break to have children and has just gotten back into sewing maybe like a year ago. Um, so she's going to be going with us too and we're just going to hang out. And so we got a little Airbnb to get all of us away from our homes, away from any distractions, mostly away from Sarah's kids. <laughs> so um, we're just going to go. I think it's three and a half days um, and we're just going to sew like maniacs and hang out and be like girls and just have a good time hopefully. So um, my sewing plans are kind of centered around that. A lot of the items are already cut out because we're leaving in just a couple of days from the time that I'm filming this. So um, and also some of them are things that I didn't get to from last month that you'll recognize from last month's plans videos. But the first one I wanted to start with is something that you guys have been asking me about a lot. And that is my trench coat with the burgundy piping. So I am about, mm, I don't know, 60% of the way through making this. I started it in the spring and then stopped when the temperatures warmed up because I just knew that I wasn't going to wear it. But this is kind of where I got to. I have the sleeves kind of mostly done. Um, so I have a lot of work to do still, but um, definitely made a lot of hate, a lot of headway earlier this year. So I'm going to be working on finishing that up, which I'm really excited about. Perfect for fall. In case you're wondering, I'm wondering too, <laughs> what pattern I'm using. Vogue 8884. And you guys, I've talked about these before. I feel like I should mention it again, but whenever I put a project away, for a few months. I always put it in one of these little bins. I put every single thing associated with that pattern in the bin. So the pattern goes in there, all the notions go in there, all the fabric, all the scraps, all the everything goes in here. So I don't have to go looking for whatever it is I need to finish it. I can just grab the bin and I have everything that I need there. So, um, so yeah, that 8884 trench is the first one. The next one is, okay, so I have this faux leather. The back is, gosh, it feels like some kind of cotton or maybe some kind of nylon backing. And it is that much stretchy, like not super stretchy at all and no stretch that way. I am torn. I either want to make those simplicity leggings that just came out with a little zipper up the back. If you saw my first impression video, you know that that caused me to pause for a minute and think through like, oh yeah, that because I've been nervous about making this into leggings until now because I didn't know how I was going to get them to fit and also pull up over my hips. But if you add a little, um, I guess, nine inch center back zipper, then you know, you can zip yourself in and out of them. So that made me start thinking, okay, well, yeah, I could do that and have some really nice leather leggings. Another part of me though, and it's because I love that pattern so much, I actually already got it printed from PDF plotting. It's that little jumper from Seamork Magazine from their October issue, I believe. It's basically like a super deep V, fitted bodice and then like a, an A-line sort of flared skirt. Very simple style lines. I think that would be adorable in pleather. And you could wear like a black turtleneck underneath or nothing and have like a cute like fall spring outfit as well, depending on how cold it is wherever you live. Um, so I'm leaning toward the dress, you guys, because honestly, you guys know how much pants scare me. And I don't want to spend all that time making these leggings and then be disappointed in the fit. And I just feel like because there's not a super 
amount of stretch in these that I'm not going to be able to get the fit that I want. But I really do want some faux leather leggings. So <sighs> safe option or try something new. That's where I am with that. So the leather will be used because I feel like this is the time of year to use it. But in all honesty, my gut is telling me to just make the dress. And then I'll get more wear out of it too. Like I have black jeans. And that's kind of the same thing <laughs> as black leggings, leather leggings, right? I also have Ponty, black Ponty. So I kind of have a lot of black, like tight pants already. So it'll probably end up being that dress. Um, so, okay, there's that. And then I also have this um, pre-quilted, like it's, it's already quilted for me. Um, I, I bought it that way where it has this red and black buffalo plaid on one side and then gray on the other side. And I got McCall 7695 during the last sale at Joanne and I wanna make that vest. Isn't that cute? I love the trim. I actually have leather trimming, leather bias trim that I got at Pacific Trim like forever and ever ago. I think it's more popular now. I actually think you can even find it at Joanne now. Um, and so I thought that would be really cute to bind everything with the leather to get a little pop, a little sophistication, a little texture change, you know, all of that kind of stuff. So this is very simple. It, um, only has like a mandarin collar, um, no center back seam, no seams in the front. So I'll probably just Hong Kong finish the side seams and call it a day. But I think this will be really cute and just warm enough for, um, our winter here being a vest and not a full jacket, I think that would be just enough. I don't have many vests. I have a denim vest. I have like a puffer vest that's old and I probably need to go ahead and donate it. Um, I mean, it has a fur trim hood, which is cute, but it's kind of just dingy. And that one's cream colored. And I have a fur vest. But other than that, that's it. So I think this will be a nice addition. Um, something kind of casual, something to wear with jeans. Um, but the leather will elevate it just a little bit. So I'm excited to give that a go. And then these next two, I already talked about um, because I was planning on sewing them in October, but got a little distracted with some other projects and figured they would be better suited for the sewing retreat anyways, because I would be like basically hold down and these are more detailed projects. Um, the first one is llama pajamas. You guys remember me talking about those. How could you forget? Basically it is doodles llama fabric with Carolyn pajamas. You guys can go back to October's plans video if you want to hear me muse a little bit more about that. And then the next one is simplicity 8554. Uh, basically knocking off the model with an olive green um, rayon twill type of fabric, light and drapey. And then this is the lining and the pockets and all that kind of jazz. So, um, both of those, because they're just like a little bit more labor intensive, there's a lot of steps, a lot of parts, a lot of details. I thought that would be better and more fun to do at the, um, sewing retreat while I'm like talking with my girlfriends and like hanging out and having fun. It would feel a lot less tedious. I thought, so that's it. Those are my plans for, can't believe I'm saying it, for November. Um, and we will see what all I get through. I kind of feel like I need more. I have the two trench coats and the llama pajamas for the retreat. Is that enough? Is that not enough? Should I cut out one more thing just in case? Maybe I should cut out the vest. I don't want to be there and like be twiddling my thumbs. Not that I ever do that anyways. But it seems like two trenches and Carolyn pajamas would take more than a day each. But who knows? I don't know what it's going to be like sewing 24-7. Or at least sewing during all my waking hours. Normally it's like sew a little bit and then go do the dishes. And then sew a little bit and take the dog for a walk. And then sew up. You know what I mean? It's like intermittent sewing. This feels like it's going to be like more consistent on the sewing front. So we will have to see about that. I'm not exactly sure. Um, maybe I'll just be on the safe side and cut out one more thing. Who knows? It's not like I won't sew it whenever I get back. Um, so anyways, um, let me know what you guys are planning on sewing in November. 
Um, I know that we have Thanksgiving in November, so maybe you're planning on sewing something for the holiday. So let me know in the comments below what you'll be working on, and I will see you all in my next video. Bye!